A portion of this episode is sponsored by KiwiCo, and using my link in the description gets you 50% off your first month's crate. However, more on that later. Now, it's time for an incredible episode. I can't wait for you to see it. On with the show. Hey, it's Joel. We're here at Forum Next, and I'm here with my buddy, Erez. Hi. Nice to meet you. Good to see you again, my friend. Oh, good to see you. We are at the Massivit booth, and this is a Massivit machine, and indeed, I love that indeed. you have Massive in the name because it is incredibly large. What are the stats of this machine? How big can it go? What is your height? You're six foot? I'm six foot and a little bit more. No, so six foot, we can literally print you <laughs> and me in this machine in six hours only. In six hours? Six hours only, literally. Now it's 11 in the morning. <laughs> so, so you'd be done by the end of the show. At the end of the, <laughs> the, end of the show, we can have a full mannequin size of you, seriously. That is incredible. The speed at which you can produce it. And I do have this part here and it kind of showcases the mm -hmm. secret sauce mm -hmm. on how you're able to do this. Because if we think about it, typically with, with extrusion and additive, it's melted polymers built up layer by layer. You have support material, stuff has to cool. That's not how you do it though. Exactly, exactly. As you said, we have our special sauce. Okay, we have tomato, avocado. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. This is what we develop here. It's acrylic based material. Okay. Most 3D printers, when you see this part, will obviously be printed this way. If I was going to print that at home, I would flip it over because it would require the least amount of support material. Indeed. And in many technologies that we have over here, which are excellent, you have support structures. Mm -hmm. Many people know that to take out the support structure is a pain and yes, you consume it consumes lots of material as raised at the end you throw to the bin. So what we develop a cutting edge technology, which is called GDP, gel dispensing printing. GDP, GDP, okay. that's GDP. the acronym. Oh, and it's a gel. Yeah, it's a gel, like I your see. hair gel. Oh, exactly. Just a little bit, just a little, just a little bit. bit, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Gotta keep it looking good. Yeah, so we have a gel, very similar to the viscosity of, of a toothpaste or a hair gel. And we are bringing the material like a half baked into the machine, <laughs> half baked, <laughs> and with UV LED lamp, polymerize it, cure it transform it from a gel to a solid state material. But you're doing that fast enough to not require the supports underneath. Exactly. We are not only can, can print layer on layer, but we can literally print layer near layer, like that. Oh, so as you're doing the gel deposition, mm -hmm. as long as the gel you're depositing is next or can touch, cured gel that you've already printed, then you can just cure it in place and keep going. Instantaneously. And, and if you look over here, <laughs> We are printing a ceiling like that. People from the 3D printing, usually when I show them that it was printed this way with no support structure, they say, no, no, it cannot happen. <laughs> and this machine, by the way, backed, of course, with 50 patterns around it. 50, five, Fi zero. five zero. That's quite a few. Yeah, it's quite a few. And the fact that we are doing it enable us to print in ultra fast. As I give you the, 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 the demonstration for your nice body, Thanks. six hours only. See, that, that blows my mind because we're talking about, typically with additive, like I just did some projects uh, with Neil Patrick Harris, some special frames, and mm -hmm. I spent 87 days worth of 3D printing mm -hmm. just for picture frames that were five feet by four feet. Uh, how many days, how many days? 87. 87. 87. I will show you what we can print in two weeks. Two weeks, okay. okay. Sorry, not two weeks, 145 hours. Oh, specifically 145 hours. I'll okay. give you the number, which is six days. Six days. Oh, six days. Six days, will, okay. Okay, we'll save you, that towards the end. Yeah. You are six hours, I will show you what we do in six days. Okay. Now, let, let me show you a little bit under the hood, how this oh, thing is yeah. working. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Well, just, just, okay, at the outset, okay. it is, it looks really cool. So, and you have lots of heads up displays so you can track things. Mm -hmm. uh, and I see two independent heads. Indeed. So, so the volume, the cubical volume is four feet by five feet by six feet tall, <laughs> okay? <laughs> and if you look carefully in this machine, we have two printing engines. That's, right. That's our core technology. I see. And we can literally print two, ob two different objects, two different geometries. Everyone has, by the way, a different Z axis, so it can be independent. We have like a three Z axis, so it can build different models. It's oh. amazing. <laughs> okay. If you look carefully over here, you can see the gel. So this is the live look at the head moving around and depositing the gel and curing it. Exactly. And if you look carefully, we're printing only 
the walls, only the closed mm -hmm. contour, and there is zero support structure inside. And if you look here, this is the 3D uh, model. You can see that we will go up like that. I will show you the final part in a minute. And it doesn't collapse. It doesn't fall inside, and it's totally hollow. So with, with this, you know, with typical additive and uh, melting of the polymers, we have to, things cool and things can deform. It, you know, it's an issue when we talk about high temp materials. With this one though, you're going at a really high rate of speed and it doesn't look like you have to worry about cooling because it's curing and so you can build tall without a heated chamber. Exactly, this is the ambient temperature and at the end of the printing process, you just take out the part. And the part is, the gel is, Acrylic it's acrylic based, based material. That's so cool. It has good mechanical properties. It can be easy finished afterwards. You can put car filler, you can paint it, you can drill it, you can machine it, whatever you like. It's very easy to use after it's being printed. Let me show you what we are exactly printing over here. And you said 87 hours, right? 87 days? 87 days, days. Yeah. days, days. Which Let is thousands of hours. And, and, and probably you will ask, okay, this is cool, this is big. Props is one thing, but we are doing lots of industrial applications I as well. I would imagine so. Printing parts for trains, printing parts for the marine industry, printing parts for the entertainment industry, for oh. the architecture industry, where you need parts. You mentioned 87 days, and, and you cannot wait 87 days. No, you no, cannot, yeah. Only no. if you have spare time. No, this, is, this is crazy because my mind is just going wild with what you can accomplish with this because we're no longer talking about multiple days. If someone <clears throat> in an industry has an idea on, on a Monday, they can have a prototype, a on large Tuesday. prototype on, on Tuesday. Tuesday. In yeah, the, exactly. Oh. Exactly. And not to wait two weeks or two months. 87 days is almost three months. Yeah. But let me show you exactly what we are printing here. Okay. Let's, let's see what our customers are doing. With yeah, this I want to see this. Nice machine. Okay. What you can see here, this is an example of real part from the marine industry for a yacht. This okay. is like a I propeller see A yacht exhaust cover. Exactly, exactly. Can I hold it? Can yeah, I yeah, please, feel free. Ooh. Remember, we are printing <laughs> hollow, so it's lightweight. <laughs> and if you flip it over, you can see that this is exactly oh, look at totally that. hollow. You see, no support structure. No, none. Totally none. hollow. None. And this is very. Hello. Really <laughs> <laughs> And this is very beneficial in terms of, of printing costs, okay? Well, this you is don't a, need, you uh, don't need to waste money on support structure and you don't need to waste your time in fighting to take right, out right. You the get support, the, which is a pain. You get time savings with this because exactly. now your printer's not busy printing the support mm -hmm. and you're not busy having to remove the support. Mm -hmm. And being acrylic, that means like standard methods of finishing things apply here. Like you said, sanding, priming, painting, and you get yourself like you could put this in the boat. This it's is in the boat. Port. You can see over here, real example from our customer. Literally, right all these things are real applications, real use cases of our customers. This boat is in the water since you're using all the finishing that is coming from the marine industry. Right. So it's, it's shipped into the water. I got to tell you, I wasn't quite prepared for this because when I did 87 days of 3D printing, it was consumer machines. Uh, it's a picture frame. It's it's not a car. <laughs> 16 feet long That's car in six day, full size concept car. One of the designer, his name is Takumi Yamamoto. He's seen our technology say, wow, this is outstanding. I can take all my creative design. He used to love David Bowie when he was young. So okay. he designed this car as a tribute oh, to David Bowie. Okay. And he said, I must 3D printed it. No one, I mean, look on the geometries, look on the undercuts, look on the crystal. This is it looks, awesome. It looks incredible. I've, I've never seen a car like this. Well, and here's the great part. If this person wanted to realize their, their vision, we're talking about clay or like standard methods of creating car models. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. was six days, you said, six days. Indeed, six days. And as you mentioned in alternative, Technologies probably to take several months. Easily. Easily. Oh, Easily. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's... This has been incredible, and I can't believe that I got to see this in person. This is amazing. I really want to hand it to you, though. Thank you for the tour. 
really kind of you. Um, Thank you, John. I'm going to invite you to something. So usually my audience, I offer mm -hmm. them a high five at the end. And so okay. I'm going to thank them for watching because this was a lot of fun. And then I'm going to offer them a high five. If you're up for it, I'd love for you to offer it as well. I'm, I'm into it. Really? Yeah. Okay. If you made it this far, you're awesome. Thanks for joining us on this tour of the Massive It booth. Hug each other more. And as always, hands up hands and up. high five. High five, guys. <laughs> This is the part where I tell you about how awesome KiwiCo is, but instead of me saying something, I've got a resident expert here to help you out. My son, David. Hi. Thanks, Dad. I am a kid, which makes me an expert in all things kids, and kids love building with KiwiCo. One of the reasons why I like KiwiCo is because it exposes me to concepts in STEAM. That's science, technology, engineering, arts, and math. Hey, David, what's your favorite one? My favorite is technology. KiwiCo crates come in nine different subscription lines. Each line is for a different age. Like, for example, this one is for 12 and, 12 and above, and this one is for nine and above. KiwiCo crates go all over the world, shipping to more than 40 countries. 40? Yep, that's right, Dad. As a kid, I like building stuff. And of these two, I'm really excited to uh, build this speaker because I love listening to music. This holiday season, consider giving the gift of building something awesome. That something awesome just so happens to come in every KiwiCo crate. Use my dad's link, kiwico.com forward slash 3D printing nerd to get 50% off your first month's crate. 50% off? That's right, Dad. 50% off at kiwico.com forward slash 3D printing nerd. Thanks to KiwiCo for sponsoring this episode. That doesn't seem so hard, Dad.